All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Cam and Frank, and we live out here in the studio with my man, Propane, who I met looking for a studio to record at when I was out here in Atlanta. So go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up, y'all, man? My name is Mr. Propane, man, owner and engineer of One Up Recording Studios, man, located uh, in, uh, in Henry County and McDonough, man, south side of Atlanta. All right, so how long have you been out here? Uh, had the company going for about four years now, or actually the, uh, the location that we're at now uh, is going on four years. Oh, nice. So, like, you actually was at another location before this, or what? Man, <laughs> to be honest with you, man, I think, like, uh, as, as, as everybody else has, man, you know, it kind of started at the house. Um, you know, at, at, at my crib, we had, uh, you know, a uh, nice little little spot, and I had a bonus room, man, where I had the uh, recording studio at. And uh, from there, I just started building a lot of clientele, and uh, been doing a lot of recording and stuff like that. But the uh, clientele started to... Uh, gradually grow and from there I figured that you know we wanted to get the uh, the studio uh, out of the house and then um, purchased a facility out here a 1500 square foot uh, facility um, off of Jodico Road and moved all the equipment here and um, did a little little bit of painting and you know knocking down a few walls brought all the equipment in man and just been running ever since That's what's up. so like how old were you when you like actually started like the, the basement type studio or whatever Man, <clears throat> shoot, I actually started doing music back in uh, in '98. Um, I think I was about 17, 18, and uh, from there, man, I started out as a recording artist. Um, did a few shows. Um, been a, been around Atlanta, you know, networking and stuff like that, man. And um, did that, and then from there, moved on to the uh, to to doing some music production, and then from there. Uh, you know, <laughs> had, had a spot out there off of uh, Terra Discount Mall um, in Riverdale. Uh, had a spot out there selling beats, whatnot, for you know, for a couple of months and whatnot. And then from there, moved on to the uh, the engineering field, uh, which is where I kind of like fell in love with the whole engineering behind the scenes, uh, audio mixing, mastering, um, editing, and stuff like that. All right, man, that's what's up. So, like, when you was a recording artist, like, <clears throat> did you like produce your own beats or like? How did you do that? <laughs> yeah, actually, um, I, I did. I did. I uh, started doing, um, you, well, you know, at, at, as, as an artist, you know, um, I, I was working off of uh, Acid Sony 5.0, which was, whew, man, some some old <laughs> stuff, you know, uh, working with FL Studio as well, you know, back in the days. But I think the first FL Studio I had was like, maybe like 7.0 or something like that. I think they're up to like... 13 now or 13.0 or whatnot um so uh uh had a, a home out there in uh in riverdale um then i started creating a studio um as far as just buying or just purchasing gear uh analog digital gear whatever whatever the case may be and um just went from there and just just started working man just going at it um did my own production did my own recording you know to the point where you know i had the the vocal booth um <laughs> You know, which was a closet. <laughs> you know, I had to have a microphone set up. You know, I put my own soundproofing up there, which was, you know, the uh, what what they call the uh, the eggshells. You know, that you put on a bed, whatever like that. You know, just you know, just 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 trying to get some soundproofing that 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 I knew would work. <laughs> and then uh, you know, from from there, man, just uh, I, I I produced my beats, uh, recorded myself. You know, running back and forth from the board was like over here down you know a little bit further away from from the closet so you know I'll, i would you know take a take and if it doesn't go well i have to run it take the <laughs> headphones off run out and press stop then re-record press record and then run back in, in into the uh, into the closet close the door and try to make sure that i give myself enough lead time in order to start you know <laughs> spitting on like the first 16 bars or whatever the case may be <laughs> yeah real. so like did you actually freestyle or did you like used to write uh both both um but for recording purposes was all written um some freestyling is just you know stuff that i just do you know um back in the days with uh well really now these days too uh you know just uh you know when, when i'm kicking it with, with some homies or whatever like that or whatnot you know um you know we'll get down and kick back and throw on an instrumental and you know we'll mess around with the track and just you know, freestyle, just have some fun or whatever like that. Or we actually had uh, back in the days where we used to call it, you know, me and my partners, uh, Freestyle Friday. Every Friday, man, we'll get together and, uh, you know, bring bring through a few drinks or whatnot and <laughs> throw on a track and we'll just go at it. And then, um, you know, I, I, I used to record, you know, us as well. 
So it's like um, I record them, I record myself, whatever like that. Just just having fun, man. Just 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 really into the music. Just just doing what we do, man. I mean, at, at, at that time, hell, that was shoot. I was maybe like like I said, it started out at eighteen. Maybe like around 20, 22, whatever like that, man. And we just squat up every Friday and just have fun, man, and just kick back and just do what we do. <laughs> hey, so let me just, like, did you make any money from doing shows or, like, from the, the mm -hmm. experience? Uh, no, nah, actually, I did not. I didn't. Um, it, it was just more for the uh, for the passion of it, man, just just loving what I do, man. It was, it was very fun, man. Um, as, as far as uh, selling production, I, 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 I have, um, you know, just a couple of bucks here and there, you know, with the local artists or whatever like that, you know. Um, and then, you know, too, it wasn't really even about the, uh, the monetary value, just the fact of, you know, that we can actually, uh, you're, you're an artist, I'm a producer, I got a few beats, <laughs> you know, they, they wasn't mixed or mastered or anything like that, but they sounded really good. <laughs> so, 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 you know, um, you know, I sell it to them for like 25 bucks or whatever like that. No, no exclusive, no contracts. Like, hey, I had that beat, man. I just, just hooked me over to 25, man, so I get some gas money or something like that, you know? <laughs> so do you got, and I still got um, any of your first songs or whatever? Actually, I do, man. I still have a CD, um, uh, that I did my first, uh, my, my first, uh, or, or produced my first beat on. Um, the first beat that I produced uh, officially uh, was on a MPC uh, 3000 XL uh, with a few partners that I was dealing with up in uh, in Alpharetta. They had a, a nice home studio, man, and uh, they was running the Pro Tools. Um, I think that was actually the first time I ever seen Pro Tools, and I was like, holy <laughs> crap. From there, from there, that's when I knew I was like, I want to be an engineer um, because the 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 artist, uh, you know, to to be an artist is is, is nice. I, I like it, but you know, you got so many jokers out here. They got so much more lyrical game than I do. <laughs> so <laughs> so I just know how to uh, take the artist's uh, concept, um, their idea of what they want to do with their music, and take it to the you know to to that level of where it's presentable. You know. Um, for the masses to to listen to, I've 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 dealt with uh with a lot of uh, artists that are that are, I guess on you know um, that that's that's mainstream. But um, for me, what what I look at or who I would or who I normally try to deal with is is the as the local artists because uh, the reason why I say that because for me, like I said, I I started doing music in '98 and I was the local artist. You know, and it seems like that it's a little bit harder for the local artists to get on, especially, you know, nobody knows your name, you know, and you're trying to make a name for yourself. You know, you're trying to brand your company or whatever the case may be. <clears throat> so I try to aim for that um, arena of of artists because at, at, as a local artist, you you kind of don't really have the funds or the uh, the backing to pay for, we just say for the studio time or the mixing and mastering or whatnot. So I deal with, I would say maybe now, maybe about 200, um, well, maybe a little over 200 local artists. Mm -hmm. And that that's my main focus is to get, you know, for, for one of the recordings, the, the, the whole idea is, um, we provide industry quality at affordable rates because you know you got so much talent out here um that goes unheard of unseen or whatever the case may be but they're all very 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 talented you know every, every artist is you know every some may like it some may not but it's the fact of you know that the artist is going to do what they're going to do regardless you know just like there's paintings on the wall, some abstract art, whatever the case may be, and you look at it, you may not know what it is, or you may not agree with it, whatever the case may be, but the whole thing about it is that the artist has this, <clears throat> this, this, this thing within them that says, this is what I want to do, you know, so if, if, if that's what you want to do, then th I'm going to be that, one of recordings is going to be that step that will help you get there, you know, because, you 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 need the quality, you know, to to get heard, 
You know, if not, then ain't nobody going to listen. <laughs> you know, great. but then at the same time, um, of course, you know, you got to network and, and all that good stuff and, you know, get out there and show your face. But the whole thing about it is a, a, a lot of a lot of people's or a lot of artists' budgets is not that 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 grand, you know. And it you know, and everybody goes the independent route, which is fine. But then you know they're coming out of the pocket, you know, for you know for what they do, you know, as they say, you are your your best investment or your best investor. So you know everybody's working a nine to five or whatever the case may be. So I kind I I, I try to uh, maybe if if you would say eliminate the the cost of where how you say eliminate the cost where it's not so uh it is more budget friendly yeah it's not too much right yeah, yeah. it is it's more budget friendly and it it would um but you're still getting the industry quality which would which would get you to the point where people or you know the ANRs or the um the record labels or whatnot will actually would sit back and take their time to listen to you and that's the whole thing because ever i think everybody has the same um <clears throat> the same vision you know everybody has the same where, where they want to get to mm -hmm. you know so that's my whole thing is that i i consider the one up recording uh one up recordings as the middle man from you know from your mm -hmm. from the artist's mindset and where they want to go to the record labels or to the radio, or whatever like that, we provide that quality to get them there, yeah. to even open up the ears for anybody to be like, oh, okay, I like that, sounds good. So how did you gain the knowledge to be able to produce quality like that? Self-taught school or? Whew. Uh, both, both. Um, <clears throat> I actually uh, went to uh, Omni Tech uh, in, in 2008, graduated in the fall of 2010. Omni Tech off of Covenant Highway in Decatur. Uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, um, I received a two-year certification in the fall of 2010 for audio engineering and music production. Uh, prior to that, of course, um, I was self-taught. Um, <laughs> I bought, you know, equipment piece by piece, um, and 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 it is 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 funny because, you know, when you know, at, as as a beginner, you know, I, I didn't really know much, you know, but I, I knew you know, what I wanted to do. So I went to Guitar Center, you know, ordered off of Musician Friends or, <laughs> you know, SameDayMusic.com or whatever the case may be and ordered equipment and stuff like that. And I plug it up to the computer and I say, hey, man, it's, they sent me some faulty equipment. <laughs> no, it's not it. working. It's not working. But the whole thing about it, you know, I, I, yeah, I, I bought it. stuff. Yeah, I, I bought stuff, took it back, bought stuff, took it back, like, all y'all stuff is, is is defect, man. What what is going on, man? But then you know, by the end of it, man, I figured out that okay, I just had the wires, you know, on the back side of the mixer, you know, backwards or whatever the case may be. Over hell, probably didn't even have a power cord plugged up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, from there, yeah, just um, yeah, self taught, uh, and then um, from from there, uh, I, I I wanted to get a certification in, you know, just to certify myself as as far as that, you know. I know what I'm doing, but you know sometimes you just gotta have that, you know, the the documentation saying that okay, he's legit type deal, you know. <laughs> All right, so say like I was looking to get into producing or whatnot, like, and you say you bought a lot of equipment. Mm -hmm. If you used to do it again, what equipment would you buy now, first? <sighs> Man, that's a good question. That's a good question. Um. There is, is is so much gear out there, um, but you know I'm um you know like I said I, I've I've been doing music <laughs> for some time so you know it's 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 good that you have the um, the digital gear you know you have your you know your interface and you know you have all the software and stuff like that but uh, one one of my main things that that I like to keep handy or you know to to keep in the studio is the fact of still having a analog gear, you know, the outboard gear, because, you know, that actually is what uh, creates the warmth. I mean, I, I, I understand, you know, you have, you know, a lot of plugins, um, you know, on Pro Tools or Logic or the window or, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, there's a lot of plugins. But what I like to do, like, for, for, uh, for one-up recordings anyways, is that <clears throat> the microphone actually touches uh, three different... 
outboard pieces of equipment before it even goes into the interface. And I think that's what uh, creates, you know, the warmth and, and the quality. Um, so going back to the whole question, what would I buy? I would just say, I mean, I don't think I made any bad decisions on what I've purchased. So I wouldn't really change much. Um, I, everything that, that, that I have, I mean, everything that one of recordings offers is, is quality. And, you know, I, I, I get the same feedback every time um, from uh, new artists to uh, returning artists that, that come back to the studios that the quality is A1. And, you know, if it ain't broke, you know, don't fix it, I guess, <laughs> that, as they say, you know. So, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much, you know, I, 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 I love the, uh, the quality that one of the recordings pushes out. And, you know, what, you know, the, the bottom line is that the artists really, really love the quality as well. So, you know, I, I'll let them... You know, I, I, I let them speak on that. <laughs> hmm. What's next? Or is this, you know, you comfortable? Um, right now? Nah, I never get complacent. That's for sure. Um, more or less, uh, I, I look at, you know, just uh, branding and expanding the company, you know, um, just to grow, um, get bigger. Uh, it, it is it is yeah um you know i'm uh you know i own the company i, I engineer everything you know but I'm, I'm looking to you know expand you know you know uh the the <clears throat> as they say with with the uh, with any company you know any company it can be a restaurant it can be a you know, wherever you know the the first three or four maybe five years um, of opening of a company is the roughest, is the toughest, you know? So I'm going into a fourth year now and just looking forward is that I would like to expand, um, maybe purchase a bigger facility, uh, maybe relocate, um, not, not far from, uh, from Henry County, but maybe just a little bit further north of Henry County, uh, closer to Atlanta, maybe between Henry County and Atlanta, you know, where um, there, there, there's a lot of studios. There's a lot of recording studios. <clears throat> in this area and, or the area that you try uh, to go to, or just in general? Hey, in, in Atlanta, in, in Georgia. In, in Atlanta, you know what I mean? Hell, you know, Atlanta is, is the mecca of music. You know, you. there's recording studios everywhere, you know, and which, which, which is, Good. Super dope. Yeah. I mean, that that that's what it's about. I mean, you gotta accommodate for all the artists that are here. You know, you know, there's artists everywhere. You know, so um, so as as far as the company, you know, I I, I just uh, or is going to you know just expand and you know just just get bigger, um, you know, and and from there too, um, would like to when when everything goes well, um, maybe. You know, put a one of recordings in New York, maybe put one in in California, you know, or maybe one in Florida. But you know, the the whole thing is is um, you know, as far as uh, expanding, is that the fact of that the concrete, you know, you, you got to have that solid foundation, you know, in order to move forward, you know, and that's what I'm doing now uh, for the company or vice versa, what one of recordings is is, is doing uh, for the for the industry is creating that solid foundation. You know, and every time, uh, you know, when you see the One Up Recordings uh, logo or the studio, whatever the case may be, that you know that you're going to um, receive quality, you know, comfortable atmosphere um, and it's showtime. It's, it's, it's go time. It's too easy. <laughs> I too see. easy. Mm -hmm. I guess it's up. So I definitely wish you success in your journey and your plans on, you know, growing and whatnot. So. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Definitely, definitely, definitely.